Entepe is firmly dated to 9600 BC. Uh, it consists of a vast series of gigantic megalithic pillars, uh, more than 70% of which are still under the ground, though revealed by ground penetrating radar. Uh, and um, it uh, raises questions over the origin of civilization, since we have not anywhere in the world before found a gigantic megalithic construction dated to 11,600 years ago. Uh, and since Turkey is not very far away from here, and since I at least feel there are question marks over the Sphinx, uh, I think it's relevant to consider the uh, recent discovery of a gigantic megalithic site in Turkey dated to 11,600 years ago, and to wonder whether we should raise questions over the Sphinx again. I do think that what has been said is right. It has nothing to do with anything. In my opinion, we know the date of the Sphinx. What has been found in Turkey, I don't think, and I don't know if this is true or not. I have, did you ever hear about this? Make it comment. Yes, um, the Turkey, east, it's Eastern Turkey actually, to the east of Ankara, between Ankara and Van. Um, if you look at the um, traditional dates for ancient Egypt and compare it with Gebekli Tepe, which dates actually from the late 11th millennium BC through the 10th millennium BC, uh, these are two civilizations worlds apart. And I wouldn't call it a civilization in the case of Gebekli Tepe, because civilization is characterized by several um, features like. Um, inscriptions, high culture, religion, etc. What we know about Gebekli Tepe is that those people living 7,000 years before ancient Egyptian civilizations came into being created these circular, say, temples or sacred places. The, the monoliths are three to four meters high so no, they, Mary, they, the radar showed anything? Because I don't believe in radar. I have been using radar all my work. It never made any discovery. No, never no, made any well, radar. I'm afraid the radar does show, and you're discrediting the German Archaeological Institute. And Professor Klaus Schmidt, who sadly passed away a few months ago, a very sincere and decent, hardworking man, uh, who has published his findings and which are not in dispute. Gebekli Tepe is 11,600 years old. It is a giant megalithic site. It isn't very far from Egypt. It is a relevant context in my view. At least it should cause us to have some curiosity about some of the sites in Egypt. If I can take a stand as an, um, a person independent of these two respected gentlemen, in my opinion, Gebekli Tepe and the uh, Sphinx or Old Kingdom Egypt uh, can't be compared. They are separated by millennia of history. It's different type of architecture. It's different type of culture, my opinion. And of course, we can't uh, expand on this topic any further at this moment, because most of us, most of you, are not familiar with the issues. But take some time in the evening, look it up on Google, and you will see if there are common points, common characteristics in between these two places. And I leave it open to your judgment. The argument about the Sphinx made by Dr. Mark Lehner some years ago uh, was that the Sphinx couldn't possibly be 12,000 years old because there was no other site, no other megalithic site anywhere in the world which was anywhere in the range of 12,000 years old. Uh, when we have a major discovery conducted by a respected archaeological institute in Turkey of a major megalithic site, which is 11,600 years old, I believe it vitiates that argument against an absence of context for the Sphinx, which is also uh, a megalithic monument. By the way, I have no argument with Dr. Hawass over the dating of the pyramids. Uh, it's the megalithic sites here at Giza that are of interest to me. Thank you. More questions, perhaps? Uh, um, yes.